Hey guys, welcome to TechMint. On this video, I'll show you how to set up the DMG or the demilitarized zone on your router. You might be wondering what is D, uh, DMG or demilitarized zone. So what it does is uh, when you enable the DMG, it will expose all of your ports to the internet. So why would you want to enable this? Now, if you're running, uh, if you want to run a home server that can be accessed from everywhere, then you want to use the DMG. Now, obviously, you would want to run some sort of firewall on your machine to block certain ports. And uh, so, without further ado, let's uh, let me show you how to uh, enable this DMG on your router. So this DMZ option uh, is in the advanced settings of your router. Most of the router uh, has the same thing. Yeah, it's in the uh, advanced settings. Now I have a D-Link router right here as you can see. Now. In here as you can see there's the set of advanced maintenance status I go into the advanced and uh, you can see here it says firewall and DMZ now you can enable the DMZ right here uh, by default it's not enabled it's always disabled but you can enable it here before enabling as you can see it says here the DMZ delivery zone option lets you uh, set a single computer on a network outside of the router if you have a computer that cannot run internet application successfully from behind the router then you can place the computer into DMZ for unrestricted internet access putting a computer in DMZ may expose the computer to a variety of security risks use of this option is only recommended as last resort so be careful of that now uh, you just need to take the enable DMZ and as you can see it says the DMZ IP address now this is the IP address you want to put the IP address you get from the router not a public IP address as you can see uh, you, you need to put the uh, your local uh, uh, IP address that your router gives you how to find the local IP address you just open the task manager and in the task manager you need to go into the performance tab I'm using Windows 10 right now and uh, Windows 8 is the same thing uh, in the performance tab you can see your IP4 uh, version 4 address which is 192.168.0.100 this is my local IP right here or you can go into the control panel in the control panel network and internet network and sharing center click on the ethernet then details and um, here as you can see IP version 4 address is 192.168.0.100 or there's one more method you can do to find out your IP address is uh, open the CMD or your command prompt and type IPCOMFIG IP config and enter and right here as you can see the net adapter Ethernet IP uh, version 4 address is 192.168.0.100 so I want to Put the same address here as you can see it's already here and then I can just go sorry I can just uh, save the settings from here and then I can just reboot the router and it will just enable the DMZ okay there's one more thing you need to know is uh, if you have a lot of devices attached to your router and uh, if, if you restart your router or maybe restart your computer your router might uh, give you a different IP address so you need to be careful of that and uh, you need to see uh, what IP address your, comp uh, your router gave you after the restart otherwise the DMZ won't work now after the, uh, if it, right now as you can see my address is 100 let's just say my address changed to 101 I need to go into the DMZ setting again and uh, put that IP put that new IP address in the IP address box here and then save my settings now if you don't want to do this thing again and again you can just set up a static IP address um, you can just click on the uh, on the annotation right now to see how to set up the static IP address so that's how you can um, enable the DMZ settings on your router I'm just going to show you one more thing there's one more router I have connected now this is an IBM sorry this is a eyeball 
router here I have so in this uh, router you see there's the advanced settings and uh, I can't see the DNS settings here but the DNS settings is hidden in the uh, forwarding section here right there as you can see the DNS setting is right there so you have to find out where your DNS settings is uh, most of the time it's in, uh, inside the advanced settings right there as you can see so uh, that's how again you can set up your DMZ so thanks for watching and uh, uh, leave a like if you like this video please subscribe to our channel for more and uh, if you have some questions and uh, if you have suggestions you can just uh, give them in the uh, comment section below again thanks for watching have a nice day